Good morning. There's no point messing about and waiting. I'll just stand to the side so that doesn't blind me. The first thing you should do when you've opened your books and when you've listened to this video, to the, exp the exact same explanation I would give to you whether it was live or on video, the difference is you can pause and rewind this of course, the first thing you should do is answer your narrative question. Now then, you already know, if you remember from last lesson, you have to have a clear beginning, middle, an end to your answer and I've given you the information that you need to be able to do that uh, in terms of what I would set out with. I think it would be very difficult to do it any other way than the start when they were being persecuted, when Smith was killed and eventually they were hounded into the point where they thought, right, we've got to leave America and go out onto the Great Plains and find our own place to live. And you should be able to look on your timelines that you did for homework the other week to give you key facts and information that would go into that section. And you've already started your answer with at the beginning of the narrative, of course. Then, you're going into the middle, the journey. So persecution at the start, try to use that key word, remember it means picked on, the journey, um, and how Brigham Young and the Mormons organised themselves to make that really difficult journey out into the middle of the plains to the Great Salt Lake. And then the end of the narrative is them actually settling there. How did Brigham Young make a success of getting the Normans to settle in this really inhospitable environment, a difficult place to live? If it wasn't difficult, people would have already lived there. But it was a really difficult place to live, and they managed to make a success of it. And you should be able to look in your books at the timeline you did for your homework last week to see lots of details, but if you don't have enough detail in your books, in your timeline, well you've got clues here and still on Google Classroom, just underneath the post from today, from, from last week, you'll be able to find the textbook pages um, so you can still have a look and, and find the information that you need or you can put your hand up and ask me. So you've got the beginning, the middle and the end. Another thing you've got to do is clearly link information in your answer. And the third thing is chronological order. Well, hopefully you'll do things in chronological order anyway, but you might get mixed up. Be careful of that. But linking things will be another thing that you potentially miss. So, the one connective I'm going to try to get you to use, and bonus points and great respect and happiness from me when I open your book and see it, if you can highlight this when you use it in your answer, this led to. That's the one that I want you to try to use. This led to. You can use more on the board over there, on the board over there. Uh, uh, a different connectives that help you to, to sequence. That, that there's the sequencing one. Uh, afterwards, subsequently, um, as a result of this. All of these things will help you link one thing to another. That's the last little bit of cherry on the top. But anyway, uh, you can keep yourself plugged in. You can rewind to anything you want to see in this video. Don't wait for me to tell you what to do. I've already told you what to do, the help is here, you get stuck in and try and do it. And remember your headphones, because this, this thing, this is going to happen every lesson, so that the people who want to focus don't have to wait for me, uh, they can just come in and get straight on.